My name is Susan Maxman. I'm a retired of sorts architect. And um, I have a very varied background because 60 years ago, when I was going to school, women didn't become architects. And I always wanted to be an architect. Being the first woman uh, president of AIA was a big deal. And I think when it happened, uh, we thought that women would progress in architecture even faster, and then we haven't moved quite as fast as we thought. So I think her leadership at all levels of the AIA has had an impact here, but also beyond Philadelphia for sure. Uh, and I think she's an incredible role model for young women architects, and the profession really still has a long way to go. In terms of the, the path, yeah, I mean, I, I could have never, you know, I had to open my own firm. And I remember one of my friends saying to me, don't, when, don't call your firm Susan Maxman Architects. Call it S. Maxman Architects. I said, why? She said, because you probably won't get business if you call it Susan Maxman Architects. I said, wait a minute, time out. When they see me, they're gonna know I'm a woman, so what's the difference? They might as well know first. Her leadership as a woman uh, is, is clearly very important, but there's another aspect of, of Susan's career that is also very noteworthy. She was really one of the first uh, early architects into green design and sustainability. Sustainability is just something that, that we do. It, we don't have our green projects and our non-green projects. It just is inherent in the way that we design. She, she used to talk very often about treading lightly and treading lightly whether you're building a new building in a natural landscape, treading lightly whether you're adaptively reusing a historic building in the middle of the city. Um, that that uh, the idea of respecting what is there making it better if you can. I think a big part of Susan's impact was also in setting the groundwork for organizations that we currently take for granted. Uh, when she started pushing issues of sustainable design, the U.S. Green Building Council didn't exist, the AIA's Committee on the Environment was a fledgling organization, and she really set a lot of the groundwork for those organizations to become what they are today. Architecture, I mean, there's so many possibilities and there's so many great things you can do, and the AIA has been the greatest gift for me, you know, really. And not in the way it normally is for people, but in the way of what it opened doors for me and how I got involved in so many fabulous things.